Chantal Krupka, and I'm standing here today in front of 22 Division with Mountain People's Movement. I'm here because they wanted me to come in for fingerprinting and for mugshots. They charged me with trafficking and laundering after they attacked my partner and I in front of our home for no reason. I shouldn't be here today. I shouldn't have to be here today. And that's why we're rallying. It is not right for the police to victimize people, to attack them, and then try to criminalize them. It's wrong. We're here because when we called, thinking that we missed our appointment, the police treated us disgustingly. They violated our human rights. And they insisted that we came in separately. That made us feel threatened. That made us feel like we were being bullied. So we came in with the community. We released um, some details and some demands yesterday. This morning, um, as we approached um, 22 Division, the SIU called to announce to me or to inform us that the officer who shot me was being charged. Name her. Charges are being made. Her name is Valerie Briffa, B R I F F A. She's being charged with negligence leading to bodily harm. Um, do you have the? I have the phone here and I can actually just play the recording. Criminal negligence causing bodily harm, assault with a weapon, and charged with careless use of a weapon. While this is progress, that woman tried to kill me. So she should yes. be charged with yes. attempted murder. murder. Yes. Yes. Period. Yes. Because if any one of us did that, that's what we would be charged with. We would be facing, we would be facing the heaviest hand of the criminal system and they should be facing just the same if not more because they took an oath to protect people and instead they're out here killing us. I'm very lucky to be alive. We know Uncle Jaz is not here today because of these people. We know that DeAndre Justice Campbell, for Justice for Jaz, we know for Justice for Jaz, we know DeAndre, DeAndre Campbell, Jamal Francis, we could go on, Regis, we could go on and on and on with the names and it needs to stop. And so the community coming together, that's what's going to make it stop. And, then, and I believe very strongly the only reason the SIU called me this morning is because of MPM's demands and because of how public we've been with this. And because we let them know we're not going to let them get away with it and we have eyes on them. Today